Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're talking about how you can play a song by the Beatles called In My Life. And it starts out with a really, really cool intro lick where you can kind of play 6th fret on the G string, and then 5th fret on the high E string, and then we do 6th fret on the G string and kind of do a hammer on the 7th fret. So I'm kind of playing the 2nd finger on the G string 6th and kind of putting my 3rd finger down with enough force to carry the sound. And then we could go to the B string on the 5th fret, and then do a slide to ninth fret. So I got kind of a 5-9 slide on the B. So you got six, five, six, seven, hammer on, five, nine, slide. It's kind of a kick off the song. And then through that intro, actually, what we're gonna kind of, if we were gonna back up that loop with chords, we'd start on an A major chord. And when you play A major, first finger's gonna go to the D on the second fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the A major, we'd be going to an E major chord. And if we play E major, First finger is going to go to the G string on the first fret, second finger on the A string on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like an E major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now, a lot of times with a song like this, though, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4 4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we just took the A and just practiced that a lot. We'd have down, down, up, up, down, up. pattern through our intro, we'd have A down, up, up, down, E major, down, down, up, up, down, A down, down, up, up, down, B down, down, up, up, down, up, and then from there we'd be going into our verse part, and our verse starts on the A major, and then we go to E major, but then we go to an F sharp minor chord, and if you know the bar F sharp minor, you do your first finger across the entire second fret, Third finger goes to the A on the fourth fret and the pinky on the D string on the fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like F sharp minor bar chord. It sounds really, really sad. But a lot of times you can kind of take a bar chord and do the skinny few strings actually. So if that seems difficult to you, you can even try a smaller bar. Kind of bar over the top two or the top three or the top four or even the top five or even all six. Could technically substitute for an F sharp minor. That would be an F sharp minor 11. Actually, if you're doing just a part over all of them. But then from the F sharp minor, we're going to be going back to A major. And then we go to a D major chord. And when we play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, second finger on the high E string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of the skinny four strings, that sounds a D major chord. It sounds really, really heavy. And then from the D major, that super happy D sound. We're going to be going to a D minor chord, which sounds sad. And the way we play D minor, first finger is going to go to the high E on the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And you cast on the top four strings. That's, that, that's the saddest sound according to Beethoven. It's that D minor. And then from the D minor, we're going to be going back to the A major chord. Now the weird thing about applying our strum pattern to our verses is those first four chords actually kind of half. So what you want to do is kind of do just a down, down up on the A, and then a down, down up on the E, down, down up on the F sharp minor, down, down up on the A, and then hit the D with down, down up, D minor with a down, down up, and then we go to A with the whole strum pattern. Down, down up, up, down up. So just to try that all the way through our first part, we got A, down up, E, down, down up, F sharp minor, down, down up, A, down, down, D, down, down, D minor, down, down up, A, down, down up, up, down up, and then we'd be repeating that. So we got A, down up, E, down, down, F sharp minor, down, down up, A, down, down, D, down, down, D minor, down, down up, A, down, down up, up, down up, and then from there we're going to be going into our chorus part, and our chorus actually starts on the F sharp minor. And then we go to D major, and then we go to a G major chord. And when you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord. That sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major chord, we're going to be going back to the A major chord. And then from there, that we kind of end up with kind of a chorus tag, actually, where we kind of have an F sharp minor with, with just kind of a down. And then we go to a B7 chord, and we play D7. First finger is going to go to the D string on the first fret, second finger on the A string on the second fret, third finger on the G string on the second fret, and the pinky on the high E on the second fret. And if you show them the A string and the high E string, that sounds a B7. It sounds really, really happy. So we got kind of a hit on F sharp minor, and then B7. And then we kind of pick it back up on the D major with kind of our halving thing, almost like, like the end of our verse. 
and then kind of doing an A with the whole strum pattern all the way through. So we tried our chorus with our strum pattern, we'd have F sharp minor with down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, up, A, down, down, up, up, down, F sharp minor, B7, and then D with a down, down, D minor, down, down, up, A, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then from there, there's kind of an intro return action where you may want to go back to that intro lick that we were talking about. Or if you're kind of backing that up with the rhythm, you'd have the A, down, up, up, down, up, E, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now something else I would think about adding to the song, though, is bass notes. And a lot of times on that very first down, the down, down, up, up, down, you could throw in a bass note for the chord. So on the A major, you could do the A bass, and then do your down, up, down. So A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down. On the E major, you'd have a low E string for your bass. So low E bass, down, up. Up, down on the F sharp minor, if you're doing the bar, you'd have the bass on the low E string. Otherwise, you may have to fake that with some other string that you're holding down. <laughs> and then on the D major chord, we'd have the D string for our bass. Same thing for the D minor. And then when we get to it, actually, the G major would, would have a low E string bass. And if we were going to fill in the B7, actually, we'd have an A string for our, our bass on, on the B7 chord. So if we're going to try that intro part with our basses, we'd have A with an A bass down, up, up, down, E with a low E bass down, up. Up, down, up. And then if we try applying that bass idea to our verse, the weird part is a lot of our chords have. So on the halfing chords, you really only have enough time to do a bass down up on those chords. So you kind of got to move on to the next chord. <laughs> um, so I see we want to kind of play around with that. So we tried our verse with our, our bass idea. We'd have A with an A bass, down up, E with a low E bass, down up, F sharp minor with a low E bass, down up, A with an A bass, down up, D with a D bass, down up, D minor with a D bass, down up, A with an A bass, down up. Up, down, A with an A bass, down, D with a low E bass, down, F sharp minor with a low E bass, down, A with an A bass, down, D with a D bass, down, D minor with a D bass, down, D with an A bass, down, up, up, down, up. And then from there we go into our chorus part. And actually on the chorus, if you wanted to do just hits, kind of on that first F sharp minor and the D, and then kind of pick it up on the G, that, that could be a cool way to kind of do it too. But just to practice our bass idea, actually, just, just through the tune, we could do the F sharp minor with kind of a bass, down, up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, up, up, down, G with a low E bass, down, up, up, down, K with an A bass, down, up, up, down, F sharp minor with a low E bass, down, up, up, down, B7 with an A bass, down, up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, D minor with a D bass, down, up, K with an A bass, down, up, up, down, up. And then from there we'd be going into a solo part, actually, that's just like our verse. So we'd have, if, just to try our bass idea through that, we'd have an A bass, down, E with a low E bass, down, F sharp minor with a low E bass, down, A with an A bass, down, B with a D bass, down, B minor with a D bass, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass, down, E with a low E bass, down, F sharp minor with a low E bass, down, A with an A bass, down, D with a D bass, down, B minor with a D bass, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, up. And there's some really cool licks through that part, actually, if you wanted to kind of play, follow some of the organ sounds. You'd have second on the G string, and then open D, second on the G, or on the B, second on the G, open E, open B, and then two on the D, open B, and then four on the D, and then first fret on the G, second fret on the G, and then second fret on the B, and then third fret on the B, open E, and then third fret on the high E string, and then we got second on the high E, open E, second fret on, on the E, and then third fret on the B, open B, and then first fret on the high E twice. And then actually on that part, what could sound really cool is a little ornament actually on the keyboard where you could play first fret on, on the high E, and then play first fret on the high E, do a pull off to open, and kind of put your first finger back down for a hammer on. So it's kind of a pull off hammer on idea. Might be kind of a cool idea there. And then you got third on the B, open B, and then open E, third fret on the B, open E, second fret on the B, open E, open B, open E, second on the G, open E, open B, open E, second on the B, open E, and then second on the G. And then you could throw another open E at the end to that. So if we tried that all the way through the, the whole solo, we'd have 202, 2002, And if you wanted to, you could even kind of throw in some basses with that. End up with kind of almost.
almost a two-part thing. So you may want to kind of play around with that too. And then from there we'd be going back into our chorus part. And you could kind of split that kind of hit idea with your basses too. So you could have F sharp minor with the down, D major with the down, and then kind of pick it up on the G with the bass on the low E down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, F sharp minor with the down, B7, down, D with the D bass, down, D minor with the D bass, down, A with the D bass, down. From there we'll be going into our outro part, which kind of starts on the A major, just like, like our intro. We we'll have our A and E, but then we kind of hit a D minor with a down. I love you. And then we go back to the A. A with an A bass down, up, up, down, E the low E bass down, up, up, down. And then at the very end we do a big A with kind of a down. But that's the basics of how you can strum through In My Life by the Beatles. So good luck!